Well, this is interesting here in our country, a bit of a bombshell. Uh, Mark Garneau, legendary Canadian astronaut and longtime Liberal MP, cabinet minister as well. He served as a foreign affairs minister in the Trudeau government, is now saying that Canada has lost its standing in the world under the current prime minister. Mark Garneau out with a new autobiography, and he criticizes Justin Trudeau, wait for this, as an ill-prepared leader who prioritizes politics and makes big, splashy pronouncements about there isn't any follow-through. Ouch. Mark Garneau was first elected back in 2008 as a Liberal MP in the Montreal area, the riding of Westmount. He served in Justin Trudeau's cabinet for six years, and more than five of those, Minister of Transport, he did stage an unsuccessful run for the party's leadership back in 2013. That was a leadership race which Justin Trudeau would go on to win. And recently, Mark Carneau decided to step away from politics, and now he is criticizing Trudeau in his new autobiography. Of course, it comes at not a great time for Justin Trudeau. He's doing very badly in the polls. They lost a liberal stronghold in Toronto recently, and there's a lot of speculation here in Canada over what Trudeau may or may not do. Let's bring in CTV's Jeremy Sharon. He's on the politics beat and the Mark Garneau beat today. Okay, so wow, let's talk about this. What does it mean? Yeah, Todd, tough timing. You touched on it. Tough timing, tough timing for the Liberals and uh, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau when you look at this book set to launch in October uh, with some tough truths uh, from Mark Garneau speaking from experience, a whole chapter in this book devoted to uh, his time in politics. Um, and he's quite candid in speaking uh, about how he feels about the prime minister and, and his tenure uh, now in, towards the end of his third term, heading into a uh, potential election. Um, uh, with some serious criticism. You talked a little bit about what he, he touched on there, calling him ill-prepared at times. He criticized his um, ability to uh, deal with international affairs, uh, talked about him being you know, ill-prepared for certain meetings abroad. Um, just, just some harsh critici criticism of, of his experience um, and what, what he saw from the prime minister during his time. Uh, a couple of the key quotes here. He says that the prime minister has overestimated Canada's impact abroad. He believes that Canada um, has uh, struggled in the world, um, or, or sorry, his standing in the world has slipped under Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. And he says uh, that Canada is losing credibility. So some harsh words from a former cabinet minister, and, and you talked about it, Todd, but this comes at a at a crucial time um, where the Liberal Party is facing significant challenges and their leader in Justin Trudeau is facing significant challenges. You just finished talking about President Biden in the States and facing pressure to step down. Uh, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is facing the same pressure to step down, uh, step aside and, and let someone else take over. Um, you know, we've, we've heard now criticism from a former cabinet minister in Mark Garneau, not calling for, for him to step down, but offering some, some candid um, words on his experience and his time uh, working with the prime minister. We've heard from uh, for another former cabinet minister, Catherine McKenna, uh, who has joined a growing list of uh, liberals to call for him to step down. She believes that he has done great work, but it is time for new leadership. Um, Wayne Long is the first active MP or became the first active MP uh, not long ago to speak out and call for the prime minister to resign. So we continue to see, um, you know, growing pressure. We've heard from MPs. I have spoken personally with three MPs uh, who believe there's a need for a caucus meeting, uh, a national caucus meeting here in Ottawa uh, for, the, for the prime minister to address his caucus, talk about the struggles, talk about the future of the party, uh, discuss leadership. Um, and this loss in the by-election in, in Toronto St. Paul's uh, last week has hit the party hard. Um, and, and there are many that are asking, uh, you know, for answers to, to very difficult questions right now, Todd. So the knives are out and maybe more knives are coming out and maybe they're going to be sharper and sharper. Yeah, I mean, it seem, that seems to be the trend already. We, we, we seem, we're, we're seeming to see more and more people come out publicly. You know, whispers have been going on in Ottawa for some time now about Justin Trudeau's future as leader. Um, but they are no longer just whispers. We're seeing pub people publicly speak out, former cabinet ministers, an active MP, liberal loyalists, people who have long supported Trudeau and the Liberal Party, um, believe it's time. It's time to look for perhaps a, a fresh 
uh, a fresh face uh, or a fresh leader that can help reset the party. They're trailing in the polls. They're struggling um, to close the gap. In fact, the gap with the liberals in Pierre Polyev just continues to widen. Um, and so they're searching for answers. Uh, now, the prime minister has continued to say he plans to stay on. Um, you know, he's he's uh, jumped right into the summer barbecue circuit, making mm -hmm. stops in several cities across the country already um, and, and claims that he will continue to lead the party, um, has dismissed calls so far for a caucus meeting um, here in Ottawa. Uh, but there are many people that are upset. And, and to your point, Todd, we've already started to see the sharpening of the knives a little bit um, and, and, and more comments, more people speaking out publicly. There are many believe many that believe we'll continue to see that trend throughout the summer um, instead of, you know, uh, MPs spending time in their their ridings trying to bolster support and, and mend relationships with Canadians. They could be faced with defending their prime minister um, and facing more questions surrounding this rather than trying to, you know, close that gap. So there are many people that believe this has to be addressed ASAP. Um, but there seems to be no urgency to do so uh, yet from uh, Liberal leadership. Well, two problems. One, if you ditch him, then who? Uh, and number two, you often hear that, you know what, he's a fantastic campaigner and he's great when his back is against yeah. the wall uh, and he loves a challenge. And in his mind, there is no darn way Pierre Polyev is going to become the next prime minister. So, you know, it's one thing to say he's got to go. Then who? Uh, you know, who is this magical messiah who's going to come from wherever and, you know, lead them back to victory? I mean, I, I, I mean, is that is that really realistic at this point? Precisely, Todd. You know, that's the biggest question. Uh, a recent Nanos uh, survey conducted for CTV News asked Canadians who they would prefer rather than the prime minister. Uh, and a quarter of Canadians said um, neither, none of the candidates they felt uh, pleased with. So, you know, there is no clear replacement. There, there is no, like you said, there's no messiah. There's no savior. There's no perfect candidate that, that can come through and save the day. Um, and as you rightfully point out, there are many within the Liberal Party, strategists, uh, senior people that, that still believe, you know, uh, they've seen uh, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau campaign in the past. They've seen what he can do. They believe that's where he shines. Um, and they continue to maintain the only poll that matters is the poll on Election Day. Uh, so they still have faith in, in this leader's ability to, um, to be the one to, to, to claw, back, claw his way back in a campaign where he has shined in the past uh, in that kind of setting, for sure. Jeremy Sharon in Ottawa with the latest. Mark Garneau coming out with an autobiography in a couple of months, and it involves a lot of criticism of the Prime Minister. Thanks for this, uh, Jeremy. Great chat. Anytime, Todd.